Hello, this is Katie from Crafting Ruby Dreams and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here. If you find any of the information in this video useful, I hope you will hit the like button so that YouTube knows to recommend it to others. I hope you will also consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the bell to be notified of when new videos are available. Today we are doing a planner cart remodel. I have two Rascog carts from Ikea that I have just let build up with items over the last two years. Using an exercise from Wild University's Plan Your Dream Space course, I decided to figure out what exactly is important for me to have in those cards and figure out the purposes of it. What also actually helped was when Julie of Julie's Plans did a planner cart tour of her Hudson cart from Michael's. That helped me re-envision some things about what I want to do with my two carts. I'm not getting a Hudson cart, it's just I've got two Rascog carts so there is absolutely no reason for me to get a new cart. But I do need to weed out things that I do not use and am never going to use from those carts. It just can't be a dumping ground at this point. I have too much stuff in my apartment. I live in a studio apartment. The reason why I use this background is because I don't necessarily want you seeing the rest of my apartment on a daily basis. It is not the neatest and that's fine. I'm working on getting it to a place that is better for me but uh, you will be seeing more of my apartment than you have ever seen before in this video. As part of the exercise that I did for the Wild University course is that I just took the me notebook that they sent me and I listed out basically what I want on every shelf of the two carts and what their purpose is going to be. I also took inspiration again from Julie's cart tour and I purchased some side hanging buckets from Amazon along with these little hooks to put on the side and I I know I overbought because I'm not sure how much space I'm going to be using for each of these and then the other thing I bought from Amazon were these little they're cables that I will be turning into rings such as like the uh, steel ones that Julie has and using them for washi and other things that I want to be hanging that I want hanging down from the hooks. The other thing that I purchased, not from Amazon but from Target, was I ordered. I went into their home and then the bath section and then bathroom storage, and I ordered sets of uh, three different sizes of containers. So these are. Whoops. So these are the three sizes of containers. So this is the small, this is the large, this is the medium, and this is clear. And then I also, and it's in the cart right now, so I'm not gonna pull it out to show you. I'll show it during the time lapse. But I also bought a bathroom, what is it called again? I bought a bathroom accessory organizer so it's like meant to like you stick your toothbrush in it and like brushes and that kind of stuff so uh we will see where this all takes me and how it plays out and that's it for now so i will be doing a time lapse video of the cart and i will uh, show you before and after and i hope you guys enjoy it thank you so much
Okay, so this is the somewhat finished planner cart. This is the, going to be the cart that's my more frequently used items. So I've got all of my pens, my various tapes, cutting implements, sticker collection. That's down in here too. Let's see if I can. All the happy planner boxes and some. Uh, all the happy planner booklets and a few other things and I still need to go through contents of those pouches and stamps washi more washi this is so not all of my washi but let me show you the back I've got more pens ink joy pens and some other uh, packs of pens that I'll figure out where what else to put in that particular bin. And this card is intended to be my uh, less frequently used items as well as storage of items. So these are miscellaneous pens, uh, pens still in packs and some other things. Uh, I just found out that this particular pack apparently was on Mercari for like $65. So. I'm going to see what I can get for it. I thought I had like, whoops, one or two more packs of this. I definitely have one pack that's open, but I thought I had another pack or two that might not be open, but we'll see in my various decluttering. But yeah, so post-its, inks for my printer, um, some other packs of pens, and then down here are notebooks, more pouches because I have so many pouches. Um, I don't know if you can quite see. Those are uh, components for disk systems. All of my various punches and cutters and extra cords. And pencil and markers. So I really like that particular pouch. So it's not done, I would say, but this is definitely a lot nicer than it had been and a lot more contained. And I have been through a lot of various things, but as you can see, I also have this particular container full of sticker books and other things. Um, and other paraphernalia. And then up there, there is the bulk of my washi collection, which I have weeded a little bit, as well as all my other various office and planner supplies. So I'm still working on eliminating things, weeding things, and decluttering, and I'll get there. So yeah, so follow for uh, some updates to what I am planning on doing with everything I'm decluttering, which so far is this full box of things. Something I forgot to mention at the top of the video is that everything that I am clearing out and de-stashing is going into a bin where I will divide it out into a number of mailers that I will be using as a giveaway for when I hit 100 subscribers here on YouTube. So I hope you will consider letting your friends know about this channel and getting them to subscribe so we can hit that 100 subscriber mark and I can do the giveaway. When we get closer to that mark, I will have more details available. I know right now it will be US only due to that's the going to be the easiest mailing for me to do and I already have the priority mailing boxes for uh, US residents so that is one restriction but again I hope you will spread news of this channel I encourage your friends who might be interested to subscribe thank you so much I appreciate you being here if you have any questions about anything that I use please drop them in the comments below I will also include links to everything that I used with this remodel in the description below. I hope you will consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the bell to be notified when new videos are available. Also, please hit that like button so that YouTube knows to recommend this channel to others. Thank you so much and may all your dreams be ruby dreams. Bye-bye.